In addition to filtering and sorting, another way to spot problems in your data set is using Excel's function such as is blank, is number, is error. I'm going to try to illustrate a few of these for you, but you should keep in mind the entire set for future reference, which may come in handy when you're trying to clean data. Let's say in this data set I have no entry for what in this record. And again, since this is a small database, I can quickly visually spot that there is a blank entry in row 8. But if this was very large, how would I be able to see that? Here is how you can use the isBlank function. So, isBlank function checks whether a cell is referring to an empty cell or not. If it is blank, then it gives you true, otherwise it gives you a false. So here I look at the value of the what column, C2, and for the particular row, row 2, I should get a false because it's not blank. Now I'd like to do this for the entire data set, so I need to copy paste this formula all the way down. Now one way to do this is, as you can as you know, do control C and then highlight where you want to copy and do control V. And as you can see, we already got the true for row 8. Another way of copying and pasting is simply dragging this corner of the cell all the way down to your data set. And again, you get your true. A third and a very quick way of copy pasting this formula all the way down to the end of your data set is go to the right bottom corner of your cell and simply double click. When you double click, it will copy paste your formula until the end of your data set, which will come in very handy if you're dealing with very, very large data sets. Again, the isBlank function here is giving you a true option in row 8 because there is a blank entry here. So that's the isBlank function. Now let me illustrate for you is value function. For example, let's say in record 12 somebody wrote $5 instead of writing the actual value, 25. So if you would like to test column D whether all the values are numeric or not, you can use the Excel function is number. As you can see when I type is, by the way, I see all these different options. Is error, is formula, is logical. You can actually check whether a cell has a formula in it or not. Here we're gonna, I'm just going to use is number. And then I'm going to do D2. And as you can see, it's true for row 2 because that's a number. But when I copy paste it all the way down, I realize that in row 12, I have a false which points me to the problem that I was looking for. Again, to summarize, these is functions, is number, is blank, is error, etc., come in very handy when you're checking your data set for different possibilities.